So the Gear VR is pretty cool, but it's not perfect. And one of the big limiting factors right now, for me at least, seems to be phone size. And that is storage on the phone. This is a 32 gigabyte S6 from Samsung. And it's a great phone, but you know, it comes loaded with bloatware, some extra stuff depending on your provider, whether it's AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, or another. Um, and then in addition to that, you might have photos, you might have music, and as you start installing the Gear VR apps, you get even more space used up that way. And then let's pretend you wanna go on a flight. You're gonna hop on a plane with one of these. You've downloaded the movie because maybe you don't have Wi-Fi. A lot of flights don't let you use like Netflix or other streaming services, unfortunately, even if you pay for like the GoGo internet thing, which I think is uh, really lame, unfortunately. So you might be stuck on this flight with an awesome headset and no way to use it uh, unless you put a movie on there beforehand. And that could be, that could be quite large, um, you know, five gigabytes plus. One of the things I was experimenting with here is uh, using a micro SD or other, other form of memory to try to kind of jack in to the phone. And of course you could plug it into the bottom of the phone. I'm gonna test that. But I think what's even more interesting is the possibility of you know, plugging one of these in directly into the Gear VR. So I have an S6 Innovator Edition Gear VR here. I also have the new consumer version. I'm just gonna go through and kind of experiment with these different materials and see if, if I can kind of figure that out. And in the meantime, I'm gonna do a, a quick little overview of how large the different Oculus uh, required software is that, that comes with the device when you plug it in, just so you have some idea of how much space on your phone would be taken up before you even start adding movies and other stuff. So let's do that. We've got Oculus Home, com.facebook.app manager, Oculus system activities, Oculus, Gear VR video, Gear VR service, Gear VR setup wizard, Gear VR setup wizard stub, and com.facebook.systems for a total of about 200 megabytes. Okay, so I've unpackaged everything and you can see that I've inserted the micro SD into this adapter. One thing I realized that I don't have is a micro USB to regular USB. So in order to actually get files onto this card, I first had to put them on the phone. <laughs> uh, pop that in there. Let's kind of read it real quick. It brings it up. And so what we're looking at here, by the way, is uh, the my files so i'm going to go to that real quick on this phone this is a verizon phone so the interface might look a little bit different than yours if you're at&t or t-mobile but i'm going to go to my apps and my files and device storage is the local storage that's where the files already are in that milk vr folder usb storage that's what we've got right here so i'm going to go to more i'm going to create a folder and call it milk vr just so it matches It. And now I'm going to try to move those files from device storage onto my USB storage. Edit, select these two files, more, let's move them, USB storage A, milk VR. Okay, so move here. You can see it's just counting down. It's quite large, so it might take a few minutes. Now this is where things get a little bit tricky. We're almost done here, we're at 77%. I've got the two different headsets. We've got the new consumer version, as well as the S6 Innovator Edition. Because this micro USB port is actually used by the headsets, they plug in right there and right there, we're not gonna be able to leave that stick plugged in. We're gonna have to try to plug it into the base of the units and see if it's recognized. So I'm gonna go ahead and test that out. I have already tested that um, the Milk VR holder, the proper one that's on the actual device storage, worked properly. The video showed up in Milk VR when I was using the Oculus headset. So what we're really trying to do here is test two things. One is is this port even sending data or is it just power? Like are our signals going through uh, that the device can actually read files off of? Or again, is it just power? And then the second thing would be, is Milk VR smart enough to look not only in device storage, but also in the USB storage uh, for files that are, that are relevant to it? So we'll check that out right now. So 
go ahead and take this out. Okay, let's start out with the Innovator Edition right here. Just gonna pop that in. And I'm going to go ahead and insert that USB reader right there. And you know, it's not perfect. It might be a little bit in the way. I'm just gonna hold this up to my face real quick here. So it kind of seems like, you know, it's not hitting my face or anything while I'm in, uh, in the Oculus app. Cool, so I could see this actually being a comfortable solution if it works. Okay, I am in Milk VR. I'll swipe around and look at uh, some of their streaming content. And if I click on Downloaded, they are not there. It doesn't look like it's even lighting up there, unfortunately. Let's go on and try out the consumer version now. Got it. So we're all connected in on the front there. And same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and put that little USB stick in the bottom corner. I'm gonna hold the proximity sensor just to see if it even lights up. Not seeing anything. When it was in my phone, it was flashing white earlier, so here we go. And nothing, oh, that's too bad. So I'm only testing one app here. Um, and I'm gonna generalize that. It, it just seems like, you know, that there's no, no information is being transferred from the USB expansion here into the headset, unfortunately. Uh, thankfully, power does transfer so you can play and you can kind of maintain your charge level. And if you put the headset down, you can plug it in and charge it up but we're not able to read from this real time. So in order to use this, uh, I guess we basically just have to take your phone off like we did before, and then you know, go ahead and take this stick out and use it directly with your device by plugging it in like this. So you could bring along extra movies with you on a flight, you could bring along extra files. I think you could even transfer app data if you wanted to. So, you know, we can go back here to device storage. I can go to Oculus and I could look in the 360 videos or the VRcade and I could take these, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog, for example, I could take those and I could select them and then I could move them like we did before. And I could basically kind of, you know, move data back and forth on the go using this little USB adapter. So, you know, it's a, it's a little bit, it feels like maybe a missed opportunity or something. Um, it's just a little bit less convenient. It's not quite as immediate. Again, it's a little bit frustrating that you can't upload or upgrade your storage once you've purchased a phone like this. You know, it's a big, big decision right when you buy the phone. And also, you know, the, the battery, I and mean, maybe you can pry this apart like iPhones and stuff and, and update the battery that way, but it's just not quite as modular as, as maybe I would hope. Um, but it's still possible, so you can get this little USB adapter and you can do what we just did there. Hope that helps. I'm gonna be testing some other stuff with the Gear VR and uh, I'll do my best to answer any questions in the comment section. Good luck.